Good morning everyone. Today I am going to present uh, our research findings about student mentoring. The topic of my presentation is student mentors, sustained motivation and leadership. Before I start my presentation, let me introduce myself. My name is Rashida Iqbal and I am a lecturer at Dofar University Foundation Program. I am going to, uh, I will be the first one to present the first half of the findings uh, of, my, of our research. Then my co-presenter, Ms. Suchita, is going to describe the rest of the slides. So let me give you an overview of our today's presentation. I'm going to start with introduction, how it all started, the, the research, and then the second thing I'll discuss is literature review, the previous findings. Uh, then I'll move to methodology and results and analysis, that's what we found. At the end, we will have recommendation and conclusion, the final word. So let me begin with introduction and background about peer tutoring. Uh, student mentoring or peer tutoring is a form of collaborative learning that involves people from similar social groupings who are not professional teachers helping each other to learn and learning themselves by doing so. This is a definition by Topping. And it also, uh, there, is, uh, there are some studies which show that peer tutoring has academic gains for tutors and TTs. So this thought encouraged the implementation of this program at the university. Now, let me take you to the background, how this all started. The students who attend the foundation program often have low motivation and lack study skills. The majority of student intake in the general foundation program is under 20 years of age. So they come from different regions, including many from the desert region. And an exception to few outstanding students, the majority lacks uh, the eagerness to work hard or understand personal responsibility of taking the course. They are neither equipped with nor do they have the knowledge to equip themselves with the latest ways of learning and adapting to a structured system. Hence, the motivation level drops gradually as the intensity of the program develops. So, the time is another major cons constraint. Students start their classes at 8 a.m. and finish by 3 p.m. with a break time of one hour. This makes it difficult for them to sustain motivation. Furthermore, the teaching and learning pace progresses fast with each level having 12 weeks to complete the course with 220 credit hours. So to keep pace, students need to have good study skills and sustain motivation. So the peer tutoring system was developed to solve some of these issues in 2015. The main aim of this program was to develop a conducive environment through collaborative learning and peer help. So our research objective is uh, which it focused on how peer tutoring has developed positive leadership attributes and sustained motivation among students who accept the role of tutor and mentor to their fellow classmates in a given class, keeping in view the general lackadaisical attitude of the tutees. So once our learning objective is clear, I'll take you to the previous studies, which is a snapshot. So foundation program is a Transi transitional period to professional studies and develop uh, appropriate skills for future. Um, one of the uh, the key um, presenter in this uh, of this idea was Berg, um, which he states that it is uh, the prime time for students to shape their careers and develop appropriate skills for uh, future. And leadership and social sense being the buzzwords of 21st century urged many institutions to think, plan, and implement successful ways to attain these attributes and dispositions in their uh, students. Then we have Anderson and Lou, 2017, uh, who presented uh, their research on shaping leadership skills at an early mm, age. And, uh, it's, and they suggest that experiencing leadership skills at an early age can prove to be very valuable. We also have Westlake 2015 who presented a four-point working model of mentoring student leadership and uh, which and she found that student leadership instills enhanced citizenship, 
communication, collaboration, representation of the group and modeling the ways of others. And then research also suggests that leadership is learned in a group context. Uh, student voices evidencing this development can be found in Convis um, 2005 and his research in 2006. Then we have Arco, um, Gerardo, Fernandez, Martin and uh, Verma and Nelson 2007. 2011, their study shows that leaders perceive positive increase in their leadership abilities, particularly in motivating students, managing a group, problem solving, conflict resolution, resolution and quick thinking. Peer tutoring increases self-confidence, good listening skills, patience and organizational skills. And it also helps during job interviews and in personal relationships. For sustained motivation, we have CRISP uh, 2000. 10, Daughtry et al. Um, and this, uh, they suggest that as tutors take the responsibility to teach others, they enhance their own learning uh, in turn and uh, their, their uh, motivation level can increase if a social context is provided which can make people intrinsically motivated or at least have a more autonomous level of extrinsic motivation if they know they can do the task. So if the task is doable, it, it maintains their uh, motivation level. Uh, after this, we come to our methodology. Uh, we used qualitative research. We uh, we used questionnaires, interviews, and the target group was uh, study group leaders at Dufal University. Sample population was aimed at 50. Uh, we already or we also considered already available data that was the academic transcripts um, to check their certain motivation, and then statistical analysis was done through Microsoft Excel. Uh, so the variables we used were peer tutoring or student mentoring and then leadership and sustained uh, motivation. Uh, 30 out of 50 responses were received for questionnaires which were circulated among student group leaders and 10 out of 30 interviews were conducted for year 1 to 2 college students. The academic transcripts uh, who uh, were used who were as student group leaders from year 1 and 2 and so we checked at least three years of data. So the most important part of, uh, of our research was the system we developed that, uh, um, th that was a st study group leaders program. So I'll briefly discuss how it worked. The study group leaders or stu student group SGLs or peer tutors were selected by class advisors on the basis of average academic performance and who can be convinced to take the task. The study group leaders were um, given this title with the purpose to experience them the identity of a leader. The selection also considered that student group leaders should have a reasonable understanding of the content being taught. Three to four students were assigned to the care of a study group leader. A meeting was held every term to train and apprise the tutors about their duties and responsibilities. A session was provided, uh, a session form was provided to the study group leaders to record the names of the students who wished to join them for the after class um, group study, keeping in view the objectives of instilling collaboration to develop social responsibility and accountability. The study group leaders uh, recorded the content reviewed and uh, made the students signature, uh, get, uh, made the uh, students to sign uh, with their names and the content reviewed. The study group leaders were advised to meet with their groups twice a week depending on the requirement uh, which might be any a spelling test review or an upcoming vocabulary or grammar test or an in-class presentation. So on the completion of five hours per term, the study group leaders received a certificate of community service and the circuit certificates were awarded in a ceremony to show the new study group leaders how hard work, how hard work pays off while recognizing the old ones. In this way, some study group leaders tutored for three terms and later on joined the college uh, tutoring center. The study group leaders were, uh, were uh, like solely responsible for the conduct of these sessions without any teacher supervision. So the autonomy in taking the study, uh, the, groups, uh, uh, the group study sessions was taken care of. Another in-class in environment was uh, very important. Um, the study group leaders uh, ex were expressly made to sit with address students during the in-class group or pair work so as the need arise. Uh, this helped to create a working bond between them. Once the in-class session was over, 
The study group leaders took the on the role and motivated the group to continue with revision after the class and then they were free to choose the time, the slot and the duration and the content of the session making them feel empowered and engaged. So this was the working of the study group leaders program which was which was started in 2015 and it continued till 2019 uh, uh, summer. Uh, now we move to uh, results. So my co-presenter, uh, Ms. Suchrita, is going to explain uh, the rest of the slide. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rashida, for the first part of the presentation. I am Sucharita Rajagopalan, and I'm going to give the results of the data that we collected regarding student mental, sustained motivation, and leadership attributes. The findings of the questionnaire for development of leadership attributes were based on this. The survey here in graphic presentation shows the following factors. The first item on the questionnaire was motivation and independence. The questions in this section pertained to being proactive, feeling confident while facing a group, working independently and being a role model. You can see that 83% of the respondents felt that peer tutoring helped them to become proactive, provided confidence to be role models with a high sense of accountability and act as the agents of change. They not only believe in teamwork but also felt confident while working alone. They were always on the lookout for new opportunities to improve their skills and they believed that dependence does not curb creativity. The second item on the questionnaire was responsibility and sustainability. The questions related to teamwork, sense of community service and being responsible. You can see that 70% of the respondents liked to take up responsibilities and believed in community service. What was noticeable was that Almost all responses reflected strong intrinsic motivation towards teamwork. They enjoyed doing what they did and sustained motivation appeared inextricably linked to both person and context. The third aspect of the questionnaire focused on developing communication skills. The questions centered on the importance of social interaction sharing ideas, being open-minded towards criticism, confidence in giving opinions, and not being afraid to make mistakes. You can see that 73% felt that knowing others in the student community is an important aspect. It provided ample opportunities for socializing with other people and ruled out any hesitation in talking to new people. This indicates the development of communication skills and being considerate. The next, the fourth item considered the development of study skills. The questions gathered information about the belief in teamwork, differentiated learning, the importance of cooperation and need for collaborative learning. The results show that 80% found group work very satisfying. It promoted learning and increased collaboration among peers. It also enabled them, enabled the team members to finish work on time and help them learn from mistakes. The student group leaders developed a sense of integrity, ability to accept learners' differences, and meeting deadlines. The next one on attributes, the last part of the uh, survey, explore the rationale behind the attributes that make a tutor a leader. In response to what makes student group leaders take up the role, 46% of replies focused on recognition and a similar 46.7% said that it was the challenge that this role offered. About 23.3% found it self-satisfying and some, a small percent even felt that it gave room for creativity. 
Most of the student group leaders took this role because it was challenging while some wanted recognition. Coming to other evidences of development of leadership attributes among the student group leaders, we have the peer tutors meetings and the remedial sessions and recognition. In the peer tutors, in peer tutors meetings, this was organized to inform and update tutors about the latest developments of the program as well as train them with the delivery of the lessons. Peer tutors meetings was a teacher led meeting, but in course of time, these sessions were taken up by the tutors themselves. They felt more empowered and started to conduct and organize these sessions. They took the initiative to prepare talks on motivation, discuss issues related to tutoring and providing solutions. This approach helped tutors to highlight, reflect and resolve matters amicably, thus building the road to leadership. Coming to remedial sessions, this was again a teacher-led intense revision sessions conducted prior to the midterm and end of term exams to review the content for the exams. Initially, these were teacher-led sessions, but the group leaders seized the opportunity to conduct them as well. They were driven by their passion to organize and prepare students for the exams. A majority of the students benefited from these sessions as these were led by students of equal social standing. So remedial sessions also proved to be very successful. This reflected the drive to empowerment and social responsibility amongst group leaders. Under recognition, as you all know, an incentive is always a sweet fruit of success. The idea behind rewarding student group leaders was to recognize their efforts, instill a sense of community service and sustain their motivation. The group leaders were awarded, with, were awarded certificates and mementos depending on the hours of service rendered. Surprisingly, surprisingly, there were tutors who even tutored for more than 35 hours per term. So these are some of the evidences of development of leadership attributes among the group leaders. There were also interviews conducted for these group leaders. About 10 of these responses where the respondents showed a positive attitude and confidence about administering the study group. They also considered study group as an inevitable part of their learning experience. So much so that even after they finished their foundation program, they continue to be tutors at the college level. We can also say that peer tutoring or the student group leaders, the mentors, showed increased academic potential and sustained motivation. For we collected information or tracked their progress for two years and their grades may be interpreted as a result of sustained motivation leading to a greater academic potential. Their passion and intrinsic motivation coupled with peer tutoring sessions promoted academic excellence. Multiple benefits have been cited for both tutees and tutors of mainly at mainly cognitive, metacognitive and social levels as topping as said. So peer tutoring, so when students tutored others, they not only transferred information to their peers, but also gained knowledge in the process. So many uh, educationists advocate peer teaching as an agent of increased learning through interaction as they engage in learning as a commun community activity. So peer tutoring served both tutors and the tutees. So you can see a graphic presentation of the student mentors' academic progress for two years. The first three levels in the foundation program, they show some good performance, but it is later after their sessions as student group leaders that you can see a consistent performance academically. So 
this shows that the sustained motivation has been helpful to them and they have progressed as student group leaders in the college too. So, in conclusion, we can say that the pure tutors develop critical thinking evaluation of content which results in owning their decision. That is, they are able to make their calculated decisions and help them, helps them in critical thinking. So once they reach the level of decision making, they develop the habit of finishing tasks on time. Hence developing time management and responsibility as well as development attributes of leadership. The literature reviewed and the data collected provided valuable insight regarding leadership attributes and how tutoring helps develop these attributes along with social skills, community service and sustained motivation. So we have seen how a group of leaders have benefited from this mentoring program. These factors show or afford more scope for identifying specific leadership types to make these tutors more marketable in the world of competition. So all, there is always the two sides for coin. So we do have some limitations and this tutoring program, the systematic procedures provide solutions to issues of students with the low motivation at any foundation program. It builds a congenial atmosphere where hesitation and reluctance are replaced by collaboration, trust and confidence. Some of the recommendations that we have regarding the show of great promise by these group leaders is that a certified program would benefit these student group leaders so that if they leave the uh, university with a diploma before attaining any master's or bachelor's degree, they could still be employable. The employability of these people could be at a higher level and showing the uh, abilities, the attributes and aptitudes when you look at these, when you judge these things from the student group leaders, we could provide targeted training so that we can channelize their energies and make them more employable or more beneficial for their future career. In conclusion, an evaluation tool for the mentoring program to validate results is also one of the recommendations that we feel is to be in place. This will help us to understand that this research is suitable for all other institutes so it can be applied to other colleges or institutions as well. So we can therefore thereby help students through these mentoring programs to find employability and make themselves more equipped, well equipped for their future after student life. And here in bibliography we have the list of people who have guided us in giving us valuable insight and we found a number of these educationists who have given us or researchers who have given us enough input for student mentors, sustained motivation and the attributes that lead to leadership. So with these we can say student mentoring program benefits students and provides them with a good working environment for the future. Thank you for being with us and for any details and questions please contact at us at these email IDs Rashida Sucharita Rajkapal. Thank you for being with us. Good day.